Roger, I copy you. You're tracking on those civilians there, right? Roger, you listen to me. No, hold off. No. Hey, we're trying to put this in We have friendlies up in the bazaar to the north break. And ATF 444 is down to the south break. Alright, shoot. Working up the game plan 9 line right now. I guess some. Go down the wall. Let's go. Keep moving, keep moving. Let's go. Go, go, keep going down the wall. Come on. Hey, this way, this way. something About 200, 250 meters max. Hey, watch him, Moses. Hey, Don. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Are you ready to go? Yeah, done. Shoot it, shoot it. Whoa, watch his Watch that dude's fucking head. I got
field to the left. They're moving to that compound right there, right now. We kind of knew what we were getting ourselves into. Once we take contact, it's kind of like, here we go again. Sometimes it doesn't even seem real. About a four hour firefight. Operation Apache Snow 2. The mission that day was to disrupt the uh, enemy within that area. Once we started to cross this big open muddy field, they opened up our... We were about 200 meters in and started catching a good sporadic fire. It's a pretty big rush. If you're used to it, it'll, it'll calm you down. Going to combat the compound, my first step is to just make sure everyone gets to that next compound alive. They know I wouldn't lead them in the wrong direction. Let's go! Keep moving, keep moving! We caught contact, the security element. Usually they would take most of the firepower off of us so we can continue to the clear, but we were getting hit from a uh, three different directions, so we had to continue and uh, help the security element out. Air was reporting what was going on around us. Some families started to kind of flee the area. I mean, we got the vibe right off the bat uh, that we were going to get hit, so everyone's head was on a swivel. During initial contact, I was in the middle of that field. We got pinned down for a second. Uh, that's when that one Marine got struck in his Kevlar. Instincts just kicked in at that point. The Marines who were in those security positions already knew what they had to do, and they immediately reacted to uh, engage the enemy to alleviate that pressure off us. 200, 250 meters, Mac. This is a deep stand at Washington. You've never really seen the terrain. We work off the terrain model. Hopefully get as much knowledge as we can about the place before we land. And you don't really know if you're going to land in the right spot or not. It's different. You don't really know what to expect when you go in there. If it could be booby-trapped or if there's IEDs everywhere or narcotics or anything. Uh, rounds of bouncing off guys' protective armor. We took it casually. At that point, they immediately responded with what they were supposed to do. Marines ran out into the open, dragged him to safety while other ones were suppressing, and their actions saved that Marine's life. Medium machine gun fire, small arms fire, RPGs. At the time, we, we seemed to be pinned down. They had a uh, positive identification on, on several enemy fighters uh, around us. The second we took contact, they immediately kicked in and reacted. They don't know exactly where all of us are, so which allows our, our geometry to fire as long as we're tracking where everyone is to kind of isolate their positions and then neutralize some of the enemy, which obviously we did plenty that day.